Good morning, everyone. Today's Tanya in three minutes. We are starting the 15th chapter of the book of Tanya. You know, one of the greatest compliments you can give another Jew, at least uh, in Hasidic jargon, is if you call someone an oived or oved from the word avodah, and it means someone who is working, working on themselves, improving their character traits, working on their relationship with God, working on the relationship with other people. But in short, someone who considers themselves a work in progress. You've probably heard me say before, more important than what rung of the ladder you are on religiously is what direction you are heading in. And the fact that there is movement, that there is growth, that we consider ourselves a work in progress. In the Tanya today, the chapter 15, the Alter Rebbe brings a verse that says you should see the difference between a tzaddik, a rasha, and one who is Oved Elohim, one who serves God, and one who does not serve God. And you might think the guy that doesn't serve God is, is the Russia, is the wicked one. And the Alter Rebbe says, no, believe it or not, in this context, both the Oved Elohim, both the one who serves God, and the one who is not actively serving God are both doing everything right. So what does it mean? The regular Benoni constantly has to struggle, constantly has to have impulse control, constantly has to come up with other techniques, as the Alter Rebbe is going to explain in the upcoming chapters about how to remain in their A-game, how to always do every mitzvah, how not to fall prey to their evil inclination, anger, jealousy, lust, so on and so forth. But then there's this rare individual. Whenever I read this, I'm wondering, who are these people? I've never met any of them who do what's right who follow the mitzvot of the Torah, but not because they are struggling, not because they are being an Oved Elohim, but simply because they were gifted, let's just say, a very mild, a very obedient animal soul. It's almost like when their soul came down to this world, it was like, all right, you're going to get this, this animal soul. I think the clinical term for it might be anhedonistic. Someone who is simply not moved not driven, not motivated by the pleasures of the world. And therefore, it is quite easy for them to be disciplined, to follow the mitzvot of the Torah, but it's not coming with a particular struggle. And you would think, well, lucky you, lucky you. How lucky you are that when your soul was coming down, you were dished out this very uh, obedient pet, this very, very mild animal soul. But one of the things I love about Tanya is how Tanya explains that more important than the end result more important than the report card, the grade that we have, is the journey, is the process. And therefore, the one who is not actively working on something and struggling is not serving Hashem properly, is not right now being called in Oved Elohim. Look, none of us yet are Benonim, but this idea is such a powerful one. If we are not today working on something, we're probably doing something wrong. So we need to find that mitzvah. And even if it comes with struggle and with challenge, that's a sign we are serving God, a sign we are doing something right. Have a great day.